What's the answer? If B is the resigner, mm-hmm. we don't really care about the other column anymore. Mm-hmm. Then what's going to happen is A is mixing between resigning and holding. Yep. And probability P is a probability of being a holder. So whenever P, whenever that event happens, it gets 10. And whenever one, the opposite of it happens, you g- it gets minus 5. So yep. I want to say 10 P plus 1 minus P 5. Okay. Is that Let your, me try that again. Is that your final answer? 10 P. Well, I could simplify it. Okay. Well, then uh, say it to me again. I'll write it out here so it's easy for you to see. Okay. And that is? My answer. That's fair. Do you want to simplify it? You don't have to. Sure. Let me simplify it. So it's a minus minus P5 and a 10P. So that's 15P minus 1. Minus what? 1. Minus what? 5. Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you. That's correct. Uh, we would obviously accept either answer or any combination of those letters. <laughs> That, uh, no, I think I might have to do this quiz over, actually. No, not the one. I'm talking about either 15P minus 5 or 10P minus 1 minus P times 5 or 10P plus 1 minus P times minus 5 or any other combination that we can get Pushkar to actually bother to um, you know, imp- uh, implement or check. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. And this, of course, is exactly the expected profit. As you put it, P times A is a holder and P times, um, or P percentage, uh, one minus P percentage, uh, A chooses to be a resigner, and so it's just a weighted average between those two values. So can, let me just double check that. So if P is zero, that means it never holds. It means it always resigns, and it gets minus five, so that's right. Uh, and if P is one, it means it always holds, so it should get a plus 10, and 15 minus five is 10. So boom. Yeah, it works. You used math there, very good. Okay, what about B? B. So the same story except on the seer side. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I might need that space again. So five. So, oh, I see. Right. Minus 5 times P mm-hmm. plus 5 times 1 minus P. Mm-hmm. If we simplify that, we get? Uh, there's a minus 5 and another minus 5. So we get minus 10P mm-hmm. plus 1. Plus what? Plus 5. There you go. See, you learned. Okay, you want to check it? Uh, yeah, oh, that's a good idea. So, um, again, if P is 1, then that means you're always a holder, which should be the minus 5. And if we put in a 1 there, we get 5 minus 10 is minus 5. And if uh, P is 0, that means we're always a resigner, and we should get a 5 for that. And, yeah, so we zero out the negative 10, and we get the 5. Exactly. Now, it's not clear to me why we're playing this game. Oh, it is clear to me why we're playing this game, because we want to figure out something about a uh, strategy that is mixed. Right. So this is how well a mixed strategy does, but not against another mixed strategy. This is against two deterministic strategies. Ah, but is it, Michael? But is it? So I'm going okay. I'm gonna notice something here, which is that you, as you astutely pointed out earlier, we have two functions of P, or two equations of P. And by the way, do you know what they are? They're lines. Sure, because it's just a, it's linear in P, so that's what linear means. Right. So what would happen, you, you think, if we were to actually draw these lines? I think we'd have two lines. Yes, and what would those two lines look like? Let's take a look, shall we? Sure. 